So we are at the, um, finally at the uh, Lakeview Hotel. So we'll see if we can finish this up today. So, I don't want my rifle anymore. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to need it right now. Um, I do got a lot of... I'll just run with my bullet, or my handgun right now. There's a fountain in the shape of a bird. No water is coming out of it right now. Yeah, but there's something. Let me pick this dang thing up. Got the Little Mermaid music box. Um, I would think there's like, I don't know, more bullets or something around here. Because, you know, I just came from two boss fights. Hello. Oh, so we just made it to the hotel. <laughs> well, actually, I have my, um, uh, uh, Okay, so I need to get to room 312. But um, actually, I have my Twitch on my little Chromebook because um, I can't I can't play this in windowed mode, so I wouldn't be able to see your comments. I don't have dual monitors, so okay, Mr. James Sunderland, the videotape you forgot here is being kept in the office on the first floor. Okay, let's go get it. The key to the room where Mary and I stayed, 312. Why is all of the doors freaking locked? Or broken? What's this? There's a rectangular indentation. There's a plate in front of the indentation and something is engraved on it. Seat of the princess who awoke from death. No, I don't want to put that there. But hey, we got to save. <laughs> it is anti Judah. Um, glad you guys can make it to the stream. It's always more fun when there are more people here talking and chatting with me. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know why I get scared. I just... I don't... Oh god. <sighs> I guess it's because I wasn't expecting it. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Handgun bullets just sitting in the uh, in the utility room. A laundry cart. There's nothing useful inside. All right. Well, let's see. Let's go check out some rooms. Upstairs it is. You know, I actually tried. I, I love this game so much. I actually tried to recreate this hotel in The Sims. And then make, um, 
can actually get like skins for like uh, Pyramid Head and stuff. In some of the games. I think Sims 3 or Sims 2 had it. And um, <laughs> just set them loose. But then I, um, I, I never finish because I can't get it exactly the way I want it. And then I get bored and then I move on. I drop it. So I spent so many hours building like this in the Resident Evil Mansion and never finished. Hmm. So two locked rooms. I probably spent most of my time in The Sims 2 just because there's so much um, mods and community content, created content. And then Sims 3, that's when they really started getting into all the DLC and the bag is locked. And then uh, you just couldn't do quite as much without spending as much. I can't hear anything from the receiver. Could the phone line possibly be cut? Well, seeing as this town is pretty much a ghost town, I'm guessing they have no service. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Let's see. Tourist brochures are lined up here. I'm not interested in them right now. There's a book here. It doesn't look like it will be of any particular use. Okay. He's looking at something. Oh, more shotgun shells. There's a book open on top of the desk. It looks like a medical book. I've already read enough medical books. None of them ever did any good. Well, clearly this was before WebMD. Mm. I'm gonna end up end this game with a whole bunch of freaking bullets. That I'm never going to use. And I do that with every freaking game. Okay, where are we going? Because they, like, get so worried about, um... <laughs> um, so worried about, um... Not having enough for boss fights. And I always have way too much. Alta Vista, I... Remember Alta Vista. God, I feel old. Nothing happens. Okay. If it's not broken, it's freaking locked. Um... Looks like we're going up to the third floor. There we go. Oh, can never be easy. Yes, <laughs> that's dial up and uh oh shit um and uh the landline would be uh, basically hung up the entire time and then I found um what did I use after I was on AOL I think I ended up getting like DSL. And it was, it wasn't that, it was like, um, there was a provider, I can't remember it anymore, it was, but I used them for a while before, you know, then you ended up getting cable. 
Oh, I gotta go to the restaurant, that's why. Yeah, it was like, um... It wasn't Netscape. Maybe it was, I don't know. It was definitely better than, uh... Fish key. It was better than AOL dial up, but um, you still needed a landline for it. Oh. Did I scare you? Yeah, you did. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here too? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of walking. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? Wanna read it? But don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. Okay. My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now, in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura about James, I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please give him a chance. It's true he may be a little surly sometimes, and he doesn't laugh much, but underneath he's really a sweet person. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Happy 8th birthday, Laura. Your friend forever, Mary. Laura, how old are you? I turned eight last week. So, Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could, could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Vacation Maybe you'll get always it if you good. see the other letter. Thanks for the joining one, the stream. Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura. I gotta find it. Laura. Well, <laughs> and yeah, and the thing is, is yeah, Laura is the only innocent one, but I still want to know what the hell she was seeing when James is seeing all this crazy crap. I mean, I know she's not seeing the, um, She's not seeing the, the monsters and stuff, but as you'll come to see, this hotel isn't exactly what it seems to be. Oh! No, no, don't! God dang it! <laughs> oh god! Upstairs, let's go upstairs! Did she face through the door? Maybe that's because of um, the widescreen. You're not supposed to see that. All right, I need my shotgun. <laughs> Good one. All right, you guys gotta die. Got one of them. Oh shit. Can I step on them? Yeah. Alright. 
So I have the fish key. Which, there's a locked door. Somewhere. Well, let's try some of these doors downstairs. Oh! Alright, fine. What's some of this? <laughs> I can waste my freaking shotgun shells. Um, okay, so... No? Where the hell would I use the fish key? Got a can of thinner. Come on. Use the dang elevator. Alright, I guess I can't do that. Alright, I don't think I need the shotgun out right now. I'm gonna save that for later. Stairs. Yeah. Especially after the last time I got into an elevator, it went down forever. And the time before I got in the elevator, I had that creepy game show going on that was like... That I failed and I didn't even get my prize. Try this other elevator, which is probably broken too. The uh, thing about this game is you can never be sure where the hell you need to go. I mean, I guess that's the gist of it. You're running around in a maze, but. Let's go back down to the lobby. <laughs> Clearly somebody um, <clears throat> needs to check the circuit breaker in this place. Alright, I wonder if I just put one of these down if I get anything for it. Okay, uh, there's a plate on the front of the indentation. Seed of the princess who fled at midnight. Okay, that's gotta be Cinderella. Um, Seed of the princess who spoke no words. Yes, place the music box. What? Look at this music box. Okay, well, that's not doing me anything. Is this lock? No, broken. I don't know where the hell I can use it though. Yeah. Um. Oh, let's try this door. No, of course not. Too 
202 or 204, I guess we can try one of those. Even though I don't know why a regular guest room would have a fish key. This is Silent Hill. This shit doesn't make sense. Radio stopped. <sighs> That's not fair. The radio's not supposed to stop. <laughs> I'm just going to keep the shotgun out. Hi, Liam Piper. Thank you for joining. I love Silent Hill 2, that's why, well, Silent Hill, period, but Silent Hill 2 especially, which is why I'm streaming it. And I'm lost again. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we've been through here. Really? You studied for your film music degree? That's pretty interesting. I just studied, not like, you know, officially studied, but researched and read everything I could get my hands on on this game back in the day because I loved it so much. So... I'm playing it now. I, I don't think I've played this Silent Hill 2 since the HD collection came out, which is not as good as the, uh, I don't think the PC version with the mods, but um, it's been a little while. So I'm a little, not quite uh, remembering where I need to go. Let's go in there. Maybe there's a way. Um, I completely agree with you on that. Because um, I don't think these games would be quite as effective without the, the sound effects, the music. Especially Silent Hill. Uh, Akira Yamaoka was genius for what he did with these games. So what the hell am I supposed to do? I'm like, I guess I could try and go to the, no, the third floor is locked. Okay, those two do doors are locked. Um, second floor. Hall ante room. But that's locked. Yeah, I, I don't think it would be quite as unnerving with uh, lesser sounds. I bet you somebody would um, be more than happy to cut a 
to cut a video of this with dubstep playing behind behind it. be another one of those situations where I'm running around looking for the where I need to go and then I, it's like an epiphany it's like oh yeah that place <sighs> um well this is the first game I really have been streaming <laughs> Um, a friend of mine asked if I could go ahead and do it, and I said, yeah, for for October I'll do the, the two Silent Hill, Silent Hill 2 and 3. Um, I sometimes stream some, like, point-and-click adventures. I, uh, my niece watches me play a lot, so I'll sometimes do that. But I figured I was gonna, if I continue to do more streaming, I would probably do more of the, like, the horror titles like this, just because I think I can play and, and kind of talk a little bit about it easier. Yeah. I don't know. I might I might try and stream four if um considering I never actually finished that game. I got halfway through and um and then once it gets got to the part where Walter Sullivan was chasing me, I got mad and gave up. Because I had to go through everything, all the same levels again. It's just like, you know what? Screw this game. Hey. Gotta raise them right. Okay, wh what am I missing? I'm clearly missing something that's important because I can't figure this shit out. I, you know, I've been considering doing a visual novel, but then I heard that Twitch can be pretty, um, depending on the visual novel you stream, they can be, they might ban you. Um... I, yeah, I think... I mean, there were, it had its moments. And I, I did like some of the lore and the stuff that they went into. And, and, um, and for, oh God, you guys, you really want, want me to, to stream? No, no. I, I, if I have, if it's something that my sister would get pissed at, if my, my, my niece watches, I can't do it. And some of those Dogen games, definitely not child friendly. Um, I'm just about to look this up because I do not want to be, <laughs> I want to finish this game today, damn it. I have plans to get into three on Saturday, so I gotta be done with this game today. So what do I have? I have... Um, you know, I like Downfall. Um, I thought it was a good game. I liked the story. I thought it went a little too action-oriented at the end, and I did not like the monster design if they had better creatures, monsters. Um, I think I probably would have been happier with it, but it wasn't a bad game lore-wise, I don't think. And I kind of worked with the the Silent Hill mythos. Um, fish key. I'm looking this up because I, I really don't want to be here all day. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I got to use it on the freaking briefcase. Okay, so, um, on the second floor cloakroom. Okay. <laughs> um, you know what? I have not, I have not played The Evil Within yet. So, and that is on my to play 
list. So I might actually do that too um, once I'm done with Silent Hill 3. I don't think that's going to take me quite as long to get through because, like I said, I, I played that. Um, not even um, what, three, four months ago. So I shouldn't have as many bouts of running around completely clueless as I am now. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, it's okay. If I get so stuck, I'll, I'll just look it up. It's just the fact that I'm runner. I'm thinking I have a fish key and it's like, Okay, you, you, I, I'm thinking it goes to a restaurant or maybe the bar. No, it goes in a freaking suitcase. Which has another key. Oh, I'm, I'd probably have to play on easy because I am not, I'm not good at, at games. I, I admit it. And I don't want to be too frustrated. Though when the, um... The HD uh, texture mod is finished on Resident Evil 4. I'm going to be playing that, and I may stream that for you guys, too. I love the heck out of that game. Okay, 204. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, nothing interesting. Yeah, but there's... Okay, I got the implore. Finally, got an elevator. Oh. Elevator key. Come on. Ah. All right. Part of the photo has been colored over with a marker. Let um I know I think I got something for this. Dose. <sighs> okay. Watching too much Night at Silent Hill. Got the Cinderella music box. Oh, the... <sighs> yeah, I, I, um... I have, uh... <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I have, uh... I guess specific, t you know, particular tastes. I like horror. That's actually horror. I don't like jump scare fests. Because... No, I want a game that's going to get under my skin and make me really think. Oh god, yeah, no kidding. Actually, I've, I've, I, because you guys know I have like six cats because I'm the crazy cat lady. Um, I've actually taken to start doing some natural, uh, treatments for my kitties because, uh, uh, taking six cats to the vet if just not doing it I don't think I've ever played either of those two I might have them but I don't think I've played them all right so what did I get uh eternal darkness I played heard of that years ago, but I don't even think I have the game anymore, and it's probably pretty expensive to pick up now. Though I'm, I'm guessing you could probably find an emulator for it. <laughs> no, the cats are... They're, they're pretty good. We have them pretty well trained not to... Uh... Although my one kitty will sit on the table. We eat in the living room a lot on the coffee table and he'll sit there and he'll be kind of nonchalant like yeah i'm just watching tv with you guys and then if you're not looking he kind of bats at stuff off your plate so you gotta watch out for him 
No, not yet. Though they walk in front of my screen all the time. All right, where the hell am I going? Oh, there. Okay, so I think I have the Cinderella. That's got to be Sleeping Beauty. Oh, I got to put the damn boxes on. That's why. Okay. So. It's supposed to. Oh. Well, I'm not hearing anything. Yeah, it's not playing anything. I don't know what the camera's doing there, but uh, James is kind of getting wobbly. All right now. Oh, I got the elevator key. That I know. So where's the freaking elevator? Hmm. Where did I find the elevator? Oh god, those ads machines suck. It's not even like I'm monetizing this stuff either. I'm just doing it for fun. Well, not that I can monetize this in YouTube, but still. Wasn't there that elevator somewhere and I'm just like, I, I got in and it wouldn't let me do anything? Where the hell is that thing? Is it downstairs? This is like the, the most screwed up layout for a hotel. Who decided this was a good all these different doors? Oh no. Save. Because I don't want to be running around like this all over. I think this is the fun part. There are memos hanging here, but nothing of interest is written on them. Oh god. This is... <sighs> Employee regulations are posted here. They've got... Well... Alright, well... Okay, I think this is the one where I have to, I can't bring too much shit, right? Wait allowance one person. There's something written over the button. What's this? Wait allowance one person. What the hell kind of fucking elevator is this? Yeah. It's like, who, yeah, why even have an elevator if you can only put one person in there? How are you supposed to get, like, materials up and down? I think I can keep that. Alright, let's see if this is good. Are you kidding me? 
Do I have to get rid of everything? I, mean, I can't even bring my... Alright, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> all right, I'm just putting it all. I guess like even my. No. Yeah, I guess I can't put that on there. Oh no! Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Are you really telling me that those letters and that key was that heavy? What floor am I on anyways? Um, all right, let's go to the first floor. Well, he is packing a couple extra pounds. have absolutely nothing on me. X and Y to, un to undress. So, now I'm not going to be able to go on the elevator again. All this shit's past its expression expiration date. Um, not hungry. I bet the soup cans are still good. That stuff's supposed to last forever. Oh god. You know, the funny thing is I did play Heavy Rain, and um, <laughs> I got her killed. So there was no sex scene for me. Because, uh, I don't know, games that are all quick time events probably aren't the best type of game for someone who's <sighs> losing my reaction time. Oh god. Alright, I'm just gonna have to run right past you. Oh, get away. They are pretty, uh, cringy. It's like, almost worse than reading a visual novel. Almost worse than reading a Dogen novel. This is a pretty stacked bar. Stacked bar. Jukebox. That's great. Oh wait, was there something? I gotta go back. I gotta check. No, it wasn't. He would have looked at it anyway. There's a can with no label on it. So apparently I'm gonna need a can opener. Oh, oh, get away. Ow. Really? Oh, 
Um. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think a lot of games do because they think just by just putting sex scenes in that it makes it adult and like, you know. Oh god, you just smacked me in the face. <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah, I think they try to do it to seem all. Um, this here? Um, to see all, all, all adult, but if not done right, it just seems really juvenile to me. I mean, look at this game. I mean, they have a lot of adult themes and you didn't need to see anything more than maybe a little Maria Cleavage. Get out the way! Ow! God dang it! You know, I, um, I haven't played The Witcher, but my, oh yeah, my, um, my husband's actually playing it now. The Witcher 3. And I was kind of watching a little bit, and I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy watching it. I don't think I'd ever be able to play it, but because I just don't do open world games. Um, but I think I would like to, because they're going to make a Netflix show of it. I think so. I think I would actually like to watch it. I just hope they don't go the whole Game of Thrones route and just make it a bunch of, you know, throw in a bunch of gratuitous sex just to have it. Yeah, you you can. Well, well. T take it from you know me, liking the uh, romance visual novels. You can't screw up you, the fucking. It can happen. Uh, there's a schedule book here. The date is from one year ago. I used to play a lot of RPGs. I just don't have the time for them anymore. It's to plug. 60 hours into a game, if not more, I I just can't do it. Now when I was younger, I played final, you know, the Final Fantasies, and had a whole bunch of RPGs. I had a Sega Saturn, played a bunch on there. Loved them, but of course I had the time for them. I got the videotape. Oh, you're young yet. I wasn't even married at 25. Uh, oh, I got my, my can opener. Yeah, Miracles is the youngest one in here, in here so don't feel like you're the... You're, you're so <laughs> I'm probably... I don't know. I may be the oldest, but I don't know if I want to say my... Uh, say my age on air here. Did I put my... I don't even have a map. <laughs> okay, so that I am the oldest one in here. How old are you, Nate? Oh, I, I'm not embarrassed to... I've been... Oh god, I'm getting all turned around. Um, I've been playing games since... I think the first gaming system we had was the um, TI... Texas Instruments TI-80, I think it was. So, it was like even before Atari, so... Kind of old. But I was little. I would watch my sisters play. I, hey, I had a Tandy. If any of you even remember what that was. Okay, where is the day? This is not going well without a freaking map. Well, that would help. <laughs> I 
I remember back when I was a kid, we actually, you know, went outside. Alright, so... Now I kind of have an idea. Um, oh, there are a whole, whole bunch of rooms I didn't even touch yet, but I bet they're all locked. But let's go on back there anyways. Oh! <laughs> You might have missed a few ages. <sighs> I really gotta go to a place where there's some light. Here. Uh, I think we established that um, Miracles is the youngest. Silent Nate might be the oldest, but I can't confirm that yet because he hasn't actually given me an age. I guess I gotta go down that elevator again. Hey, I got stuff in my inventory now and it's letting me on. What the hell? Oh, because I can't go back down or back up. Oh, it looks like I gotta go back upstairs. And, uh... I must have missed something. Where are the damn stairs? No. I agree. I I am as old. You are as old as you feel. And considering I am still playing video games all these years later, and even getting scared at some of them, I think I'm pretty young. Let's get that thing. Um, oh, shit, these guys again. Alright, let me see. I need to get into the kitchen. Which means... I got to turn around. How the... Oh. How the hell are you even making noises? Definitely young at heart. No, not wrong button. What I want to know, you know what, this is, I'm actually not going to be so surprised because this is probably the type of shit that would I'd find in a can in a, a hidden object game. To tell you the truth. I tried to use the bar key, but it's too dark to find the... Oh. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Finally. Finally out of there. Now let me go get my, uh... Let me go get my, uh... All my weapons. Oh. Seriously? I don't even know how you'd get a key in a seal can. Hold on. Oh, there's stairs. It does very much so. And I think that's, in a way, in a way that's why I enjoy it so much, because I started my gaming with uh, 
a lot of point and clicks. Like, um, I actually played Mist when it was originally released back in the day with no strategy guides, nothing. You just had to figure that shit out, out yourself. Um, where's that elevator? Oh, I think it's on the second floor. Yeah. Up to the second floor. And now running through this hotel is making me want to build it in The Sims again. But they never have the, um, the tools I need to, to do it right. Uh, I have a guide. I have a- oh, shit. I have a guide to all the- well, you know what, uh, a lot of those games, um, I had on console before, you know, before, I know, before game guides were really, really big and, you know, GameStop would try and sell them to you all the time. I got the Snow White box. Let's pull out some guns. Let's reload that. Okay. Now, where, where the hell did they go? Oh, so they're little pansies. You're better off without it. I actually don't use GameStop anymore, as much as I can I can help it. Just aside from it's being more expensive and they try to sell you up on shit all the time, but um, I'm not very big on their business practices. Besides, I can get most of the games that I really want off of Steam, anyways. of um British viewers it's it's sounding like Okay no it's actually kind of I like it. I like I like the fact that I have so many um friends and people from all, all over the place. I feel you, Lizzie. Nothing interesting. Oh. Yes, I am. There's a VCR. It looks like I'll be able to use it. Let's do this. Well, today's... um. A holiday in the U.S. Well, not all over. I don't know if everywhere, but it's Columbus Day. Are you taping again? Come on. <sighs> I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. <sighs> it's too bad we have to leave. Please promise you'll take me again, James.
Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This shit's... I was shocked when I first played this. I know I should have seen it coming, but it's like, back then... You always played the guy, good guy. You never played the bad guy. Uh, yeah, that, I, I think he would have gone back for it sooner if that were the case. Mary. So there you are, James. Did you get the letter? Did you find Mary? If not, let's get going already, okay? I think, um... Liar, that's a lie! No, that's not true. She... She died because she was sick? No. I killed her. Depending on Laura, which ending you get, I'm sorry. it kind of changes his motivations a little bit. So, like, if you're going for the Maria ending, I think he would be, I would consider him more of a bad guy in that ending. Unlike, um, like this one, which I hope I'm getting in water. My first playthrough, I yes, I was the same, where I was confused, why the hell, you know. Then when you go back and play it again, after having already been um, knowing the, 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 the twists, it kind of changes your perception of everything. Well, because he is very, I mean, it's not like he's, he is delusional about everything. And I do think he did forget 
Probably because he um, convinced himself to forget. Great, yeah, this is one of those. I think that's one of the reasons why I um, I like the game so much is there is room for interpretation. It's not like the um, there's a specific you know even the ending you know what would be considered the canon ending. It's it's really up to the player to to decide for themselves. totally see writing a paper on this. I mean, Silent Hill in my mind is a piece of art. Silent Hill 2 at least. 3 is in a different way, but not in the type of psychoanalyzation type of way. so much because you, you don't get this here stuff and bullets. You know what that means. boss battle coming. Mama! Mama, 
I was looking for you. Now you're the only one left. Maybe then, maybe then I can rest. Mama, why are you running away? You're not my mama. Angela, no. Thank you for saving me. But I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. I deserved what happened. No, Angela, that's wrong. No, don't pity me. I'm not worth it. Or maybe you think you can save me. Will you love me? Take care of me? Heal all my pain? That's what I thought. James. Give me back that knife. No. I... I won't. Saving it for yourself? Myself. It's hot as hell in here. You see it too. For me, it's always like this. How do you remember all of this? I don't know how you could forget all of it. I know just playing it again it, uh, brings back a lot of the, the thoughts and theories and all the things I used to. obsess over back in the day. Well, because it's, uh... Don't think you just forget stuff like that. Especially when it makes sense, at least to you. Um, I, I don't feel like Angela is as guilty as everybody else. I mean, all considering what she went through. Oh, shh. Do all this shit over again.
I was weak. That's why I needed you. Oh, you still got a little bit and left to watch. someone punish me for my sins. But that's all over now. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. It's better than one pyramid head? Two pyramid heads. Oh, okay. Alright. I'm gonna have to heal up here. So I get two ampules. Oh. James, you are a slow fuck. Run! Move! Oh. How many shots is it gonna take to kill these guys? I hope it's not a whole shit ton. A lot of running in circles. Well, I'm just playing on normal. I didn't want to play on, on hard because I'd probably die a lot. Alright, so I can't let him get all up on me. James is slow. Alright. Keep running. No, no, stop. Slow down. Dodge the spear there. Probably the most boring fight I've ever watched.
over soon. Hard. Oh, good. I would just waste that. Oh. Freaking time. I've never been su uh, able to successfully use the the big knife. Okay. I don't know if I'm just too slow or I'm just bad, but I can never time it right. I don't know what the symbolism of the eggs are, though. Um, in the U.S.? I'd have to look. I'm not sure. I would think it was at least teen in the U.S. I, maybe M? But that was like right around when... I would say the ratings start, they first started doing ratings. Yes, ESRB. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, there's some pretty uh, dark shit in this. Do I go? How do I go? Mary? What do you want, James? I, uh, I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Mary, what are you saying? Look, I'm disgusting. I don't deserve flowers. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here! Leave me alone already! No use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. It'd be easier if they'd just kill me. But I guess the hospital is making a nice profit off me. They want to keep me alive. Are you still here? I told you to go! Are you deaf? Don't come back! James! Wait! Please don't go! Stay with me! Don't leave me alone! I didn't mean what I said! Please, James! Tell me I'll be okay! Tell me I'm not going to die! Help me! Yeah, I think, uh... 
I, I'm not going to say James was right, but she was pretty abusive there for... But it's understandable because she's dying and... God, I'm pro she probably wasn't even 30 years old. Gonna save again so I don't have to sit through that. Assuming the game lets me do that. No, stop. Oh, of course not. Fine. I have a lot of healing stuff, so it should be alright. of truth. See which ending I get. Mary? When will you ever stop making that mistake? Mary's dead. You killed her. Maria? It's you. But I don't need you anymore. What? You must be joking. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. You must That's have watched that video wanted. too. I'm different than Mary. How can you throw me away? I understand now. It's time to end this nightmare. No, I won't let you. You deserve to die too, James! Okay. Oh, oh. oh, it's a lot more running around. Running to one end, shooting. And then running to the other end. Kind of bad this game really wasn't that great, was it? <laughs> a thing. Oh, with the big bats. Alright, I think they're bombs. Oh. 
And done. Mary? <coughs> um, the town has something to do with that Silent Hill itself. James. Forgive me. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. No. That's not true. Night, Nate. You also said you didn't want to die. Thanks for joining again. The truth is, I hated you. I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. James, if that were true, then why do you look so sad? Mary? James. Please. Please do something for me. Go on with your life. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. I you promised you'd take me there again someday. Dang it. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. Yeah, well, that's in our the special place. Best ending. My favorite ending Waiting is in water, for you. though. Oh, well. Waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. Um, I was hoping for in water. So I wait. I wrapped in my I know it's depressing and but it's the most emotional and it's the one I, I, I like I the best. I know I've done a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. What do you consider the best ending? I feel so pathetic. Oh, dog and ending. I ugly know. laying here. I forgot. <laughs> waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling. And all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. I know. What's the end? Unique. It's just that... Sorry. This may be my last chance. Though I'm recording, so you can always catch the video if you, you just wanted I mean. to watch it. Even so, oh, the I'm glad to be coming UFO home. ending? I don't know if I've ever actually gotten that I've one. I've missed you terribly. But I'm afraid, James... I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I can always catch those on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Or maybe I just disgust you. Mm. Hey, there's UFO I'm ending in Silent Hill Forest. That. I when think I'm going to have to play that, that at some point, though. Going to die. I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time. And I struck out at everyone I loved most. This 
especially you, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me. But I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together this letter goes on had for a while. to end like this, I still I wouldn't trade it for the world. I don't think I got the UFO ending. We had some three wonderful either. years together. But I only played when originally that was released. I only played it a couple well, of times. I didn't like this letter has gone get on too every long. single thing in it like I did for this so, game. So I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, probably I'm dead. I can't tell you. I'd to like to know me. how the hell he's going to adapt Laura. I mean, but I can't bear for you to forget me. I mean, what if she, you know, they think she's kidnapped or These something. These last few years since I became ill. I'm so sorry for what I did to you. Did to us. You've given me so much. And I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. James. You made me happy. I know. <laughs> it just goes on and on. But on the plus side, we get a really good um, ending theme. Not really big on Angel's Thanatos. So, thumbs up for that. Very true. Disappears could have been picked up by the UFO. Um... Overdose delusion. I've never understood why. I always thought the themes that they had for each ending were all mixed up. I would think the promise ending would be the best for this one. And yes, the, the dog ending is where you find out everything that's happening is basically due to this little Shiva Inu that's running things behind. You can find um, a video of it on, on YouTube. Actually, if you Click on the link I have there for uh, Donkey Silent Hill 2 video. Put a little bit in there too. It's actually very funny.